Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm doing a bit of a catch up of my October and November Ipsy bag slash boxes. So I have my October base bag and the Glam Bag Plus. And then for November, I have the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag X Huda. So hopefully I'll be able to cover all of that ground in under an hour. Uh, I've already applied some of the products and done kind of half of my makeup, but some of it I will kind of demo on camera for you. But without further delay, let's go ahead and get into the October base bag. So I'm not sure exactly when Ipsy changed its pricing. Uh, currently the base bags will uh, cost you $13 a month and you get five deluxe samples for that price. Uh, and the base bags always come with usually a pretty cute little makeup bag. Some months are better than others, but I really do enjoy this black uh, Halloween inspired bag. Uh, so that is a close up look at what that looks like with the fun lips and it has like a little kind of lipstick charm, which is really fun. Uh, and I noticed for the first time that they did kind of describe what the bag is like. So it says, Pops of neon green on a jet black background, embossed vampy lip designs, textured faux leather. October's glam bag is an invitation to step outside your comfort zone. So for the base bags, they have a little insert here that describes uh, the products that you got. And my choice was the Briogeo Hair Care Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. Uh, which is quite a mouthful. Uh, so I did use this today. Uh, I actually got the full size from my winter fat fit fun. Uh, so I went ahead and used that on my like naturally wavy hair. Uh, so my hair care routine generally is uh, after I get out of the shower, I will put my hair up in like a turby twist. And then after it's had a little bit of a chance to dry, uh, I'll take it down and spray in a leave-in spray. Currently I'm using the Whey leave-in conditioning spray. And uh, I'll comb through that with a wet brush and then I'll use some kind of cream like this one to kind of scrunch in uh, my hair. So that is what I do for my, my wavy hair. Uh, so this is what the little travel or sample size is. This is one fluid ounce. And it says, uh, curly hair types prepare to fall in love with this leave-in cream. It hydrates, defines, and weatherproofs curls without making your hair feel stiff and crunchy. Thanks to a mix of hardworking and frizz minimizing rice amino acids, avocado oil, and quinoa extract. And the full size of this product, which is 177 milliliters, retails for $20. So uh, I think I received this before I had to make my selections for my FabFitFun. So I definitely appreciated the opportunity to kind of test drive this product before I committed to a full size. So uh, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite leave-in. I think I still prefer the Diva Curl, but I think it did a nice job. Uh, so I'm happy to have that product. Uh, next up, we have the Basic Beauty Hot Cocoa Balm Eyeshadow Quad. This is a full size and the MSRP is $22, which seems a little high. Uh, it says, inspired by hot cocoa, this versatile eyeshadow palette contains four shimmer and matte neutral shades like rich chocolatey browns and soft creams that will help you create everything from a low-key look for day to a glam smoky eye for night. And they have a little tip. It says, tap the light shimmer shade in the corner of your eye to make your eyes pop. Uh, so I didn't use this today. I used another palette, but... This is made in China. It's just kind of a basic plastic little compact here. No mirror. Uh, and that is what the shades look like. They seem perfectly nice, but I have a hard time believing that this is worth $22. Uh, so I think I'm gonna hold off on swatching this until I decide if I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, but I think for a $13 bag, it's not a bad item. Uh, next up, we have the Sugar Cosmetics Tipsy Lips Moisturizing Balm in Mojito. This is a full size and it retails for $8.99. It says, make dry lips a thing of the past with this ultra nourishing balm. 
It's made with vitamin E, jojoba oil, and shea butter to deeply moisturize and help eliminate flakes, chapping, and cracks. And the yummy mojito flavor, it imparts instant vacay vibes every time you swipe it on. It's made in India, which is interesting. Uh, so this, I'm assuming, has some kind of peppermint oil. I don't see anything about peppermint oil on it, which is interesting being that it's a mojito flavor. It has a really cool tube to it. It's more of like a kind of a lipstick or a high-end balm as opposed to a uh, like typical kind of chapstick um, package. So uh, it comes off like that. So it has a very kind of sweet mint flavor or scent to it. Yeah, a little bit nicer than I expected. So uh, I might give that a try. Generally, I'm a little reticent to try a lip products that have peppermint oil in them, but that might be worth trying. Uh, and then the last two products here, uh, I have the Real Her Not Your Average Power Wear Blush. This is a deluxe sample. The full size is $20. Uh, uh, and the full size is 4.5 grams. I don't think this had a box. So uh, this is 2.5 grams. So over half the size of the full size. And this does have a little mirror and everything in it. And uh, just to use like a normal kind of angled blush brush, I think it fits very well in that little pan. So I think this is a very good size for a blush, especially uh, when it's an independent pan like this and you have the mirror. Um, so this is, I think, pretty decent little deluxe sample. Uh, this is made in China. Uh, it says, this beautiful mauve blush just might be your secret to a warm flush all year round. The long wear formula is infused with skin-loving antioxidants to protect your skin from environmental aggressors. Plus, it blends on so smooth and never looks cakey. Uh, so I am not wearing blush yet, but I think I'm going to try a different blush today. So again, pretty nice little deluxe sample there. And then the last product is the Lottie London Wing Woman Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This is also full size. So that makes three out of five full size products for this box. I think generally what you should expect is deluxe size samples, but for some products, especially those kind of drugstore products, it doesn't really make sense to make a sample. So they have the full size. Uh, so it says finally an eyeliner that actually requires no touch-ups. This ultra pigmented formula glides on easily and lasts for hours. So your liner looks fresh from your morning coffee to happy hour and beyond. No smearing, smudging, or fading. So uh, I did actually use this today. Uh, it's like a felt style liner. And I'm by no means like a liquid liner aficionado or anything like that. Uh, but I was kind of impressed by how well it went on, especially over like a more metallic shadow. Uh, it doesn't seem to be kind of seeping into any uh, lines on my hand or anything. And it went on really well over like a metallic shadow. So I even did like little kind of baby uh, cat eye wings kind of thing. So yeah, sometimes liners can be a little bit difficult to apply over kind of those more metallic and textured shades. But uh, I think this did uh, really well. So I was uh, happy about that liner. Uh, and that's it for my October base bag. So I think uh, I definitely got the value of uh, the $13 for this bag. I think it was 13 on October. I can't recall. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, very solid bag, very cute little design. Uh, so overall, I was very pleased with that bag. So next up, we have the October Glam Bag Plus, which has the same theme of Pretty Wicked. And uh, this has a very similar bag, although it's just kind of a, I don't know, just some kind of cottony type uh, feeling fabric with the green uh drawstring. So, so this bag currently retails for $28. So a little over twice the cost of the base bag. And for this one, you're supposed to get five full size products. So, uh, I think I mentioned that in the base bag, you can choose one of your items. So I chose that Briogeo Curl Charisma for your plus bag. You can choose uh, three of the items. So I'll go ahead and talk about the items that they chose for me. Uh, so the first item here is the uh, Duce 
Posh Powder Palette. This has a $55 value. Uh, it says, get your end of summer glow all in one go. And, it, and again, this was the October bag, although I'm filming it in December, it was October. Uh, these ultra luminous blush and highlighter shades are designed to effortlessly blend together. Uh, it has a plastic compact uh, with a nice mirror inside and it looks like there are like three highlighter and three blush shades. Uh, this doesn't kind of um, go all the way back if that matters to you, but it does stay upright. And this is made in China. Each of these products I think is 3.6 grams. Uh, so I'm going to, I guess, go ahead and apply one of these. Uh, I think I might actually go for the middle one. That's not a shade I would normally go for, but uh, I'm going to take my rougher number five brush. So this, this is where I run into trouble of just kind of applying things as we go. So I do have some face brushes that are coming up later on, but uh, actually, are they in this one? Okay, so let me go ahead and talk about the brushes that I picked up for this bag. Uh, so I got this MOTD set. Uh, this is one of the items that I picked out, and this has a $30 value. They, there are three different brushes. Uh, it says, use this trio with your favorite powder, cream, and liquid products to help you sculpt, illuminate, and warm up your complexion like a pro. Use them to apply your contour, highlighter, and bronzer like a pro. And it says they're made with uh, soft synthetic bristles that are 100% vegan and cruelty free. And MOTD stands for makeup of the day. Uh, it says they support a beginner's journey on becoming a makeup artist and inspire you to step outside your comfort zone. So uh, I am not a makeup artist, but I don't think I would call myself a beginner either. Uh, so these came in a plastic bag which I think is perfectly fine for this kind of uh, subscription service. Uh, and then they also have these little like brush guards on here, which you should definitely hang on to if you ever get a brush with them, because uh, if you want to uh, reshape your brushes after you wash them, uh, you can just slip those on and uh, it'll help them keep more of a compact shape. Uh, so this brush is the Supermodel Sculpt. And I think this is supposed to be like a contour type shade. Uh, I used a liquid contour today. I used the KVD uh, liquid gel contour. And I always blend that out with the BK 101 brush, I think it is. Yeah. So I really like this kind of shape. It has a bit of a slope and it's very dense. So it's really easy to just kind of uh, blend out that way. So uh, if you have like a powder contour or something, this might be really good because you can really kind of chisel it in that way. Uh, so there was that one. And then also the Golden Gem Bronzer, uh, which is kind of a floppy brush. I mean, they feel really soft. Uh, and my favorite bronzer brush is the rougher number 22. So I like to really kind of just stamp the bronzer on. Um, I think maybe if you want to apply it more like a, a cheek kind of product, this might be good, but I definitely prefer the rougher number 22 brush. Uh, and then finally we have the Get Cheeky With It, which is kind of a more, I guess, traditional blush brush shape because it has that kind of angle to it. Uh, although it is, again, very, very kind of floppy. So uh, anyway, those were the three brushes. And I think based on what I selected, the options weren't great for the month of uh, October. Uh, so I didn't powder my complexion. It still feels a tiny bit tacky. I used a primer that I will talk about in a minute. And then I used the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I have the shade 12. Uh, so that was it for my base. So uh, I guess I will go ahead and powder my face first of all, just so that, you know, we can't attribute any blending issues to the blush uh, powder. Uh, so I guess I'll use this bronzer brush just because it seems like a pretty, you know, floppy powder brush, really. 
uh, and I'll use the LIS powder. This is the translucent shade, which I think is called Resilience. So I wasn't sure whether I would use this blush or a liquid blush that I got in my Glam Bag X, but uh, I actually like this kind of as a powder brush. Uh, I do have the uh, BK102 brush, which you can see is a bit bigger, but I think I might actually prefer this one just in terms of, you know, getting around the face and everything. So there's one win anyway. Okay, so the cheeks are powdered, so I'll go in with this Get Cheeky With It. I do like the names of these uh, brushes. They're kind of fun. Uh, so I'm going to go into that medium, almost terracotta blush shade, and I think all of these have shimmer. Uh, so we'll see kind of how, how much pigment this picks up. Okay, so I think that did a decent job of blending out. Uh, I'll go ahead and try it with my uh, Ruffer number five brush, just because this is the brush I typically use. So I like this one because the, the bristles are kind of tapered to a point. So that way, I don't know, the way that you pick up powder, you can just kind of, you know, paint it on. So it's a little bit more diffused. It doesn't all kind of land in one spot. So that is the rougher side and that is the MOTD side. I think I do prefer the rougher. I think it's a little bit softer. Okay, so let me just try and build that up a little bit just so they're even. It's amazing how much of a difference blush makes. Okay, and if you feel like you got carried away at all, you can just take your powder brush again, or like a beauty sponge if you use it to apply foundation. And I'll just kind of go over that a bit with the LYS powder again, and this bronzer brush. Okay, I think that helped diffuse it a bit. Okay, so let's apply some highlighter. So I guess in the interest of trying all of these brushes, uh, where did I put that? Ah. So, hmm, I'm not sure if this is gonna be too much for highlighter. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try the Anastasia A23 brush, which is what I typically use for highlighter and I guess I can swatch these for you while I'm deciding which highlighter to use. So I think the middle one might be just a tad too deep for me, but I think the other two will work pretty well. So let's go in with that kind of middle shade uh, on the far right. And using my Anastasia brush, I'll just apply that. That is the highlighter and the non-highlighter. So I think that's pretty. I like a good blush palette because typically I will do my eyes first and then choose a blush shade um, based on where I go with the eye look. And having a few different uh, highlight shades in the same compact is also um, nice because that way you don't have to go hunting for a specific type of look. Okay, so that was the Duce Posh Powder Palette. Again, that was supposed to have a $55 value. I think the net weight is supposed to be 21.6 grams. So let's talk about this Gold Fadden Mist. Uh, this is supposed to have a $48 value and this is again full size. Uh, it says, like a spray-on multivitamin for your face, this mist re-energizes and revitalizes dull, tired skin with a blend of plant-based antioxidants and minerals. It helps brighten your complexion, soothe inflammation, and protect your skin from pollution and blue light. And again, 
that kind of blue light claim, you know, take it with a, a grain of salt. It says you can also use it to set your foundation for flawless all day wear. Uh, so again, this is supposed to have a $48 value and this is one of the items that they chose for me. Um, so this is kind of a, I guess, skincare spray that you can also use um, to set makeup. Uh, so I'm just curious to see kind of how good the spray is. Mm. Not the finest I've ever experienced. Um, yeah, I think I definitely see some droplets on my face. I think I definitely felt them as well. So I think that might be a better kind of skincare spray than like a makeup spray. So just kind of bounce over those those droplets with my sponge. Okay, so that is it for the mist. Uh, next up we have an item I chose and that is the Rowan Cake Mascara. And this is one of the items I think I was most excited about. Uh, this retails for $28. And it says this volumizing mascara has a unique fluffy brush designed with flexible bristles that lengthen and lift from the root of the lash that plumps and lengthens lashes while coating them in intense black pigments that never cake or flake. So it's interesting that they called it a cake mascara, but then say that it doesn't cake. And it says it's infused with olive oil to keep your lashes nourished and hydrated. Okay. So I did use this today and let me find my remote. Okay, so this is two coats on both lashes. I used the Clinique bottom lash on the lower lash as I usually do just because uh, it is easier to apply and it is a tubing mascara so it doesn't smudge or flake as easily. Uh, I think I have a slight I think I had like a slight smudge underneath this eye. I'm not sure exactly what that was, but uh, I think it's it's just kind of a nice mascara. I don't know that it's anything exceptional. Uh, I do like the tube. It has this nice kind of metallic silver tube, and I'll show you the wand. I'm not sure exactly how. I mean, it's a little flexible, but not not anything crazy. I don't know if they're referring to the actual like bristles. Uh, I do like the shape of this wand. I like this type of wand as opposed to the silicone rubbery type ones and I like that it kind of uh, tapers um, so it's a little bit easier to get into the inner corners. Uh, so for calling it a cake mascara I don't think it actually did a whole lot in terms of volumizing my lashes. Uh, I still see a bit of lift uh, but as far as kind of what you think of as a like cakey mascara and like a truly volumizing one, I don't think it really did did that. So I don't know. I'm just kind of lukewarm about that mascara. And of course, I haven't worn it long enough to say whether it like cakes or smudges or anything like that. Okay, and the last item here is another one that I picked. This is the Tokyo Milk French Kiss Perfume. And it was kind of nice to see a perfume in uh, like the choice options because you don't often see that. Uh, this has a $38 value. It is full size. It says notes of juicy mandarin, floral tuberose, gardenia, and earthy vetiver come together to create a scent that's equal parts fresh, romantic, and feminine. And this is vegan and cruelty free. This is one fluid ounce or about 30 ml, which is kind of the smallest full size perfume that most brands sell. Um, this to me smells like gain or like laundry detergent. So some people might really like that. I can't say that I'm like head over heels for it. I mean, it's a very kind of fresh um, scent. I think with a name like French Kiss, you might expect it to be a little bit more kind of sensual and moody, but uh, I like the bottle, but as far as the actual fragrance, um, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan. I think it might give me a headache actually. Uh, I typically use like unscented laundry detergent <laughs> for what it's worth. Uh, so anyway, so that was kind of a miss, but I, I did appreciate them including it um, as a choice. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, November base bag. So it had a really nice green velvet bag with this kind of red and gold zipper and just the normal Ipsy tab. 
Uh, so it says lush textures, rich gemstones, ornate gold details. November's luxurious glam bag designs will help you feel like the royalty you are. And I think the Glam Bag Plus for this month, so my Glam Bag Plus upgrades to the Glam Bag X once a quarter, so I don't get that one. Uh, but I think it was like a royal blue velvet with like little uh, symbols, like a crown and a heart and like gold foil. Uh, so it looked nice, but I'm definitely happy with this little Glam Bag. Uh, so again, I think this is $13 a month for five either deluxe or full-size samples. Uh, and the first one we have here is the Cake Beauty Heavy Cream Intensive Body Balm. And this is a deluxe sample. The full size retails for $8.99. And for some reason, the full size is in milliliters and this is in ounces and grams. So I'm not sure exactly what percentage of the full size this is. Uh, but it says the sweet smelling lotion melts into your skin like butter. It soothes, smooths, and hydrates with aloe vera, coconut oil, shea butter, and green tea extract, and smells yummy without being over the top. Kiss dry winter skin goodbye. So I'm curious what this smells like. I think I've tried some of their products before, like maybe a hand cream, but I don't know if I've tried this one. It's a very thick texture, and so it kind of has like a sweet like cake smell, but maybe a little bit more perfumey than just like straight up vanilla cake batter. Okay, so I, I like that. I think I can definitely get some good use out of it. And I like this type of dispensing mechanism for um, hand creams that I put in my car because that way they're just a lot easier to apply while you're, you know, sitting at a stoplight or whatever. So yeah, I will definitely be able to use that. Uh, next up we have the Whey Detox Shampoo, and uh, this is one fluid ounce. It says, Celeb Hair Guru Jen Atkin created this buzzy hair care line we can't get enough of. Whether you have coarse curls or stick straight strands, this clarifying shampoo will remove excess oil and build up from your hair and scalp with detoxifying apple cider vinegar. And it says, use the shampoo once a week in place of your regular shampoo for a deep cleaning. And this is 30 mil, the full size, which is like 10 times this amount is $30. So I have used this product before. I actually used it today. I had like a, a mini or a full size, but yeah, I do like this shampoo. I guess I skipped a day before I used this. So I guess I used it on second day hair, if, if you care about that little um, detail. I will generally wash my hair either every day or every other day. Um, and yeah, this is a product that I don't think I could get away with using every day, um, but it's nice to break out once in a while and it has their really nice, I think it's the Melrose Place fragrance, which is their kind of rose scent. Um, so yeah, so I'm definitely happy to have that little kind of travel size or backup. Uh, okay, so I'm just realizing I forgot to use something. Uh, so this is the Belle en Argent, the Subtly Shady Crease and Blend Brush. Uh, so this uh, is full size and it has an MSRP of $16. It says this multitasking brush will make it easy to create subtle to epic eye looks whenever you want. Use it to apply color all over the lids and to define your eye crease for definition. The soft synthetic bristles blend and build color with minimal fallout. Um, so like I said, I did forget to use this. Again, this is made in China. Uh, I do kind of like the aesthetic of this brush with the kind of tonal gray design from the ferrule and the handle to the bristles and calling it the subtly shady brush is kind of amusing to me. Um, so I used this Nomad palette that I'll talk about in a moment um, and unfortunately this doesn't have a mirror which makes it a little bit more difficult to apply while filming. So I don't know how well this would pick up pigment. I think I saw Linda from Glitter Fallout not being too enthused by this brush um, but I think it could be nice just to kind of you know blend out shadow that kind of thing uh, it feels really soft on the lids so I'm usually not too upset about receiving a brush as an item in one of my boxes so again that is something that they selected for me uh, the last two items I have the complex culture good glow blush single in glow rush 
Uh, this is what I selected. It says, meet your new BFF for crush worthy cheek color. This blendable billable blush allows you to create a soft, barely there flush or a full on pop of color depending on your vibe. P.S. The formula is totally clean too. That means no sketchy ingredients, only the good stuff. And the full size version of this product is 5.5 grams, which is, I guess, less than five times the size. Uh, and that retails for $30. So uh, I'm still planning on filming my kind of full face of complex culture video. Uh, they tend to come out with new products and that kind of sets me back in terms of my filming plans and other things are released and whatnot but uh, yeah that is what the blush looks like so I will um, demo this in that video but I'll just give it a quick quick little swatch it looks like a nice kind of medium pink a little bit of a sheen to it um, so be on the lookout for that video if you are interested uh, complex culture is actually an ipsy brand I don't know if people realize that so uh, it's always interesting to me when they include complex culture items in Ipsy bags, and uh, I think now that Ipsy has acquired BoxyCharm, you're starting to see complex culture pop up in like BoxyCharm add-on stores and that kind of thing. So anyway, that is from Complex Culture, and they have a, a discount code. You can use the code Ipsy15 to receive a 15% discount on your order at Complex Culture. Uh, if you are an Ipsy subscriber, I would just recommend that you stay tuned to the choices and the add-ons or whatever they call their kind of shops that they launch uh, because usually you can pick up things at a pretty substantial discount. Uh, and the last item here I have to talk about is the Sophia and Maybell Lip Slick. This is full size and it has a value of $19. Uh, so it says this hydrating lip oil leaves your lips feeling kissable all day long. The conditioning formula stops dryness and chapping and gives your pout a plump and juicy looking finish thanks to a glossy sheer pink tint. And this is 100% cruelty free. They say you can wear it alone or layered over your favorite lipstick. And I just noticed, so um, I, I tend to go into my Ipsy profile to look up the products because for the Ipsy Glam Back Pluses, it doesn't have the information on the card that you receive, uh, but the Ipsy Glam Bag does. And I just realized that the, the information online said it had a $19 value, but this says it has a $20 value. I don't know if anyone cares, but um, anyway, just an interesting little discrepancy there. So uh, I did have this on at the beginning of the video, just over kind of my bare lips, but uh, it doesn't really have much of a color at all. So I think I might go ahead and apply some of this Bite uh, Matte Lipstick in Sugar Buns, which I got in my FabFitFun. Uh, so I will apply this and then I will apply the lip oil on top. Okay, so that added just a tiny bit more color, and then I'll go in with this lip oil over top. So being that it's a lip oil, it doesn't really give you like a ton of shine, but I think combined with that lipstick, it did give me like a very comfortable, slightly more glossy look with a little bit of color. Okay, so that was it for the November Glam Bag. Uh, and next up I have the Glam Bag X Huda. Uh, and before I dive into that, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about this um, palette, which I think was a product that some people got in their Glam Bag Plus. Uh, I actually purchased it as an add-on because obviously I skipped um, the Glam Bag Plus this month. Um, so this is the Nomad Venice Sim Simplin Express. And I think they had released a larger palette maybe last year, and then they created this smaller kind of nine pan for Ipsy. Uh, so I used this today. I used Baby Grand and Nightcap in the crease. Uh, this palette is inspired by like the golden age of rail travel, I think in the 20s. So I used those two shades, and then I used Grand Sweet on the outer corner and Venice on the inner corner. And we'll go ahead and 
zoom you in again. I have a bit of a soft spot for um, Nomad Cosmetics. I have one kind of swatch video up of their National Park palette and uh, the mattes and everything applied very well. Uh, as far as like application method, obviously I just used a dry brush for the matte shades, which was the kind of mid-tone and darker browns. For the Grand Sweet shade, I think I like that best using a just a dry brush um, that applied fairly well with the dry brush. It's that kind of metallic green color. Uh, and then that Venice shade in the middle, I think I like that best with a wet brush. So I went in with a dry brush initially, especially just to get kind of the shape of what I wanted. And then I wet my brush with the Tarte Maracuja Mist. And then finally I tapped over that with a finger just to kind of see what effect I got with a finger. And I think I preferred the wet brush. I think it had just the right level of intensity for what I wanted. So one thing about this palette that surprised me a little bit was Looking at pictures online, I thought this was going to be like a fabric cover, like a velvety kind of fabric cover. And it's just like a coated cardboard type packaging. So I don't know if they changed the packaging at all for the Ipsy palette versus, I think they sold this on their like normal Nomad Cosmetics site. Uh, or I don't know if it's just like the trick of photography and what something might look like online that it looked like it was like fabric, but it's just kind of, you know, coated cardboard made to look like fabric. Uh, but anyway, I was kind of happy to pick this up. And with some of these subscription services, especially like with BoxyCharm, like you might see an item pop up in like their uh, premium or their luxe boxes. But if you don't want to commit to buying the premium and the luxe boxes, uh, if you just subscribe to the base box, then you'll see those other items pop up in their their drop shops or their add-ons or whatever, and then you can pick them up. I think this one was like $12. Um, so pretty good price for a little nine pan like that. Uh, okay, so that was it for the uh, eye look uh, for the Glam Back X. So this is a quarterly upgrade that retails for $55. And my Glam Back Plus upgrades to the Glam Back X once a quarter. Um, and so for this one, you're supposed to get I think eight full-size items for the glam bag plus it is five full-size items and I forget how many items you can typically choose for the glam bag X I kind of missed the customization window on this one so everything was just kind of whatever ipsy decided to send my way uh, for this glam bag X and uh, like I said these come out quarterly so the next one will be in February and I think in February it'll be the start of the second year that they've offered this particular subscription service. So you get a fun little like newspaper style um, pamphlet and um, Huda was the curator so every quarter they kind of team up with a different like celebrity either makeup artist or influencer type person. I think the last one was Khloe Kardashian and then we had Halsey and Patrick Ta. So I think Huda is the fourth um, influencer that they've um, had curate a box for them. So typically there will be products from that brand um, if they do have a brand in the box. I do wish that brand would offer like a sizable discount on their products in celebration of their collaboration. But I checked on the um, Ipsy website, like sometimes, like I said, with complex culture, they'll have a particular code tied to that Ipsy product, but I didn't see anything for Huda Beauty. So I'll just read you a little bit what it says here. It says, uh, I'm beyond excited for you to experience my limited edition Ipsy Glam Bag X. You know I always keep it real, so this collection is filled with only my ride or dies. I hand selected these self-loving staples to help you boss your own beauty journey. My Glam Bag X was designed to work for your entire routine from start to finish. It has everything from the skincare you need to create the perfect canvas, a majorly underrated step in my honest opinion, to my must-have products to finish any look. And the best part is you're in charge. There is no right or wrong way to express yourself. As long as it makes you feel like the best version of you, I'm here for it. My philosophy, makeup should be a tool to improve your beauty, not change it. I hope my collection does just that. So I think Huda was just named like, I don't know, the world's top brand or something like that. I forget who, who put that out. 
Uh, but yeah, so there's a variety of uh, Huda Beauty products and I'll talk about what I got from her line. And then um, there's some other brands in here including Sunday Riley, Rare Beauty, Gold Fat and MD, R and Co, and Sela. Sometimes I wonder how much of these products that aren't Huda Beauty are actually selected by her. So she has this Gold Fat and MD product, and we've seen Gold Fat and MD in a lot of um, Ipsy bags. Um, it's nice to see Rare Beauty coming into these bags, though. Yeah, and they had a really pretty like little clutch. So generally with these Glam Bag X's, you don't get a, a bag by default, but sometimes you can select one. So that's a pretty one. I mean, sometimes those will pop up again as like a mystery um, product or whatever. Uh, and it says, meet the rest of the Glam Bag X lineup. So I don't know that these products were specifically chosen by Huda or if they just kind of supplement um, everything else. Um, they have brushes from Complex Culture. I did kind of want that lip mask, but I didn't get that. They had the loose form of the um, By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. Uh, I've been using the pressed version a lot. Yeah, so I just have a little travel size of the pressed version that I like to use to set my under eyes. Yeah, we have the Complex Culture brush. They've branched into like hair tools. So yeah, especially when it's like an Ipsy owned brand, you kind of wonder, you know, if, if Huda was really on board with that. Yeah, and then let's see, we have Huda's Picks. I don't know more more items about some of them and then we have a little quiz that she filled out that says like her nickname her beauty aesthetic one slip I'd like to work with she says Oprah um, her beauty aesthetic is fearless expressive self-love and my fam calls me hootie hootie booty hootie booty Huda Hootie booty. Maybe I need to remember that because I always have a hard time pronouncing her name. If she could only pick one item, it would be mascara. So she takes a bath every night and she's tired of Photoshop. All right, and then on the back here, um, it says beauty boss by the number. So it just has information about like when she left her job in finance, how many views her blog gets, um, her follower count on Instagram. And yeah, the next Glam Bag X will be February 2022, but it doesn't really say any clues in terms of who that will be. So I think for like the Halsey collab, it says something about music or notes or something like that. Okay, so what did I get? So I got the Cover FX Gripping Primer and I did use this today. So this retails for $38 and it says this clear gel-like primer creates the perfect canvas for smooth, long-lasting makeup and helps provide an instant tightening effect on skin thanks to kelp and algae extracts. Uh, this is also vegan and cruelty free. It says apply to clean, moisturized skin beginning at the center of your face and blending outwards. So I did use this today. I didn't film that kind of demo portion. Uh, so this is one fluid ounce and it is a nice kind of compact too, but slightly oval. Um, I can't say that I loved this actually. It has a very kind of silicone-y feel to it. But maybe because it's like a gripping primer, I just found it like really kind of difficult to spread out. I think my my general preference is for like a like a hydrating primer. So I think my makeup looks okay. Like I said, I used that Cogendo foundation and I did use a beauty blender. Uh, I do see a little speck of mascara there. Just kind of note that. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I didn't absolutely hate it, but I didn't love it and I think given the difficulty in kind of spreading it out and applying it to the face, and my general preference for a more hydrating formula, I don't know that I will get a lot of use out of that product. Next up, we have this Rare Beauty Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in the shade Transcend. And I mentioned that I got this in the video I did kind of demoing this little set from Rare Beauty. This is the Selena's Faves set that you can find at Sephora. Um, so there was a highlighter that came in this set that is the Mesmerize shade, which I guess is Selena's Fave. So this I think is like the second shade in the lineup. Uh, and this Transcend shade I think is one deeper than Mesmerize. So I think I can get away with Mesmerize, 
Uh, I'll link that video for you if you want to check it out on my complexion. Uh, but I think that shade is kind of definitely too deep. So, so I think I might try this on my eyes at some point. But yeah, just not really, not really a shade well suited for me, I don't think. Uh, so anyway, so that was kind of a bust. I mean, I was happy to see Rare Beauty products in um, the box, but uh, I don't think that particular shade is going to work for me. This has a $22 value, by the way. It says, the name tells you everything you need to know. This luminizer puts your skin in a positive light to highlight your favorite features. Using the doe foot applicator, apply one or two dots wherever you want to add a touch of glow, then buff out with your tool of choice brush, sponge, fingers, it all works. And this is vegan, cruelty-free, and made without parabens or phthalates. Okay, so that was the, I think, second product. Uh, next up, I'll talk about this Sela uh, mask. So this is 2.5 ounces. I do really like the branding um, of this line, and I think I've tried some of their like hand creams and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm not generally a huge clay mask person because I have dry skin and it's just not generally something I want in terms of kind of drying out the skin. So this is supposed to retail for $40 and it says it's made with nutrient rich glacial oceanic clay from the coast of British Columbia. It says the Stew It All mask helps purify pores, gently exfoliate and soften skin too. Uh, and it's used with chamomile extract to help reduce redness from inflammation. Uh, it says it's expertly crafted from the purest and most precious plant ingredients from across Canada. And if you use the code IPSY20, you can receive a 20% discount on your order. Um, so yeah, so going back to what I said about some of these um, brands included have discount codes specifically tied to being included in an IPSY subscription box, but yet the kind of featured brand doesn't have that kind of discount. Uh, it just seems a little odd to me, especially when you know, Huda Beauty just did like a, was it a 40% off sale for Black Friday? Like you'd think they could throw a little 15 or 20% off um, at us. Um, okay, so the next product is the Iconic London Sheer Blush in Rose Riot. This has a $25 value. It says it's formulated with a unique gel to watercolor texture. This blendable and buildable blush melts right into skin to give you a soft lip from within flush. And this is 100% vegan and cruelty free. Uh, so this is the product that I thought I would use today, but just due to the order of unboxing these, I ended up using that other um, Duce blush palette. So I can at least kind of swatch it on the back of my hand. And I'm not sure how liquidy this actually is. Uh, I know that like other iconic London eye product just kind of went viral. So let's see. Uh, so yeah, so I can kind of see that watercolor influence on the blush and it has, I think pretty much dried down to a matte finish. Uh, I'm not sure how easy that will be to remove. Eh, I think I got most of it. So I look forward to playing with that, especially on like a more kind of natural makeup day. Uh, next up, we have the Freck Beauty Rich Bitch Cactus and Vitamin C Moisturizer. This retails for $32, it's 1.7 ounces. And it says like a multivitamin for your face, this decadent moisturizing cream is infused with brightening vitamin C, nourishing jojoba oil, uh, it's rich in vitamins A, D, and E, and anti-inflammatory prickly pear seed oil to make your skin glow. It says warm a small amount between your fingers and massage into skin. It can be used morning, night, or whenever your skin is feeling a little meh. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and made with good for you ingredients. And this brand was started in 2017 with Freck OG, the original faux freckle maker. So I don't think I was aware of this product before receiving it. Uh, obviously, I don't need any help in the freckle department. Um, I feel like this is very like, I was gonna say millennial, but I think millennials are too old now. It's very like, 
I guess, Gen Z, Glossier type vibes. Uh, has this like metal tube. It does say not for resale on the bottom. So I wonder if they um, created this packaging for Ipsy. Sometimes you see that on, uh, yeah, it says not for resale on the bottom. Um, so it's interesting to me when brands specifically make something for a box. And the first few ingredients are water, some coconut oil derivatives, um, hydrogenated palm oil, uh, glycerin, citral alcohol. It does have fragrance at the very end. So let's see, let's see what this is like. I'm expecting it to be quite thick just based on, yeah, based on the description and this type of packaging. I don't think it has a strong smell to it. Yeah, it's just kind of nice and fresh. Okay, so I think I might be able to use that on my face. Um, and if not, I can probably use it as a hand cream. Okay, so I think I can probably get some good use out of that. Uh, let's talk about the Huda products first. So the first item I got is another skincare product. Uh, this is the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice. Uh, it has a nice holographic lid on it. Uh, so this retails for $47. It says three types of hyaluronic acid, peptides, aloe vera, and niacinamide come together in this potent face serum to help visibly soften, smooth, and plump dull, dehydrated skin. Uh, it says morning and night, pat a small amount into clean skin, then follow with your moisturizer. And this is 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Uh, and about the brand, it says Wishful is the third brand in Huda's global beauty empire. It creates products using some of the most powerful and effective ingredients at an accessible price point. So I have already used this a few times. It does have a very pretty, again, kind of iridescent holographic um, package. And it has this kind of dropper bottle, which only seems to get about, I don't know, a third amount of product in the um, stopper. I don't know if that's by design. Um, I did like the feeling of this as I was applying it. I wasn't sure though if this might be, you know, contributing to some dryness or whatever. I mean, hyaluronic acid by its nature draws moisture to it. So, you know, in a dry environment or in the winter, um, it can actually pull moisture out of your skin. Um, so you kind of have to be careful with how you're using it or how like a product is formulated. You know, my initial thoughts are I like it. I'm still kind of experimenting with it though, so I'm not sure if I could like fully endorse it or if I'm just kind of still feeling it out. Uh, with the colder weather, of course, my skin is, you know, going through a bit of a change here. Um, so sometimes it's just adapting to that um, and it can't be attributed to one product. All right, next up, I got the Huda Beauty Major Volume Dramatic Curl and Insane Length Mascara. So it would have been nice to get either like her perfume or maybe a palette, but uh, I got this mascara and this retails for $27. Uh, it says it's a dual ended mascara that delivers major volume, dramatic curl, and insane length in just a few quick coats. Uh, it says you can use each side independently or combine them both by using the volume formula first and then layering on the curl and length side. And the Jet Black formula is long lasting, so you don't need to worry about it smudging or flaking throughout the day. Yeah, I think that's basically it. So uh, I didn't use this today. I think I'm just gonna set it aside now because I just opened that new Rowan mascara and I have a lot of other mascaras open as well. So I'm just gonna hold off on this for now. This is in the shade Very Vanta, which is extreme black. So yeah, so I'm not sure like what the general beauty community thinks about this particular mascara, but I'll just set it aside. Okay, and the last product here, which you all might find the most interesting, I think this is the highest value item in the box as well. Uh, this is the PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device in Warmth. Uh, this retails for $99, uh, and it says this powerful device uses sonic vibration technology and has four customizable modes to deep clean skin, help purify pores, and treat your skin to a lifting and toning massage. It says use modes one and two to massage cleanser into your skin using soft circular motions. Use modes three and four to apply moisturizer. 
So I think the reverse side is what you're supposed to use to kind of massage in um, products. It says it's made with ultra hygienic silicone in a custom Huda color that's antibacterial, odor resistant, hypoallergenic, and waterproof. Uh, so if you were looking for a cleansing device to replace your Clarisonic, um, PMD um, is definitely an option to consider. Uh, I already have one of these and generally I prefer the Foreo. Uh, but I think a cleansing device like this is really nice, uh, especially when you're wearing makeup, just to make sure that everything is getting um, washed away there. So uh, I will be including this in my upcoming 2000 subscriber giveaway. So uh, if you'd like to win one of these, uh, make sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for that giveaway. I'm not sure yet if it's going to be in December or January, but hopefully it will be uh, fairly soon here. Uh, and again, this is just going to be one item in that giveaway, and this has a $99 value. Uh, so yeah, so that's going to do it for my kind of October and November Ipsy roundup. Uh, let me know if you've received anything from Ipsy over the last few months that you've been really excited about, uh, or if you've been curious about their subscription but haven't yet subscribed. I'd be curious to know that too. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. I hope you guys are all staying very safe and healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.